From the bustling hives of bees to the complex societies of primates, the natural world thrives on order. In our workplaces, culture plays a pivotal role. It dictates how we interact, innovate and succeed. Join us on a journey through the power of workplace culture. Before we embark on our historical expedition, let us first define the very essence of our subject. What exactly do we mean by workplace culture? It's more than just the perks in the break room or the colour of the office walls. It's a complex, often intangible ecosystem. Imagine a coral reef teeming with life. Each organism plays a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance. Similarly, Workplace culture is the sum total of an organization's values, beliefs, attitudes and behaviours. The significance of workplace culture is not a recent phenomenon. Its roots run deep, entwined with the very fabric of human civilization. Consider the ancient Egyptians, their monumental pyramids a testament to their extraordinary organizational skills. Journey further east, to the heart of the Roman Empire, and we encounter a different yet equally powerful example. These ancient civilizations may seem worlds away, but the lessons they offer remain strikingly relevant. Whether we're building pyramids, conquering empires, or navigating the complexities of the 21st century workplace, the way we work together matters. Throughout history, the animal kingdom has shown us the undeniable power of a united front. Ants working tirelessly together can move mountains of food. Wolves, operating as a cohesive pack, can take down prey many times their size. A strong workplace culture can elevate a group of individuals into a force to be reckoned with. Henry Ford understood this concept intuitively. He famously said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. A shared vision and common goals are the foundations of great achievements. In the intricate tapestry of the natural world, we observe a delicate balance. Just as a thriving ecosystem depends on the harmonious interplay of its diverse inhabitants, so too does the success of any organization rely on the well-being and productivity of its workforce. When employees feel valued, respected and supported, their motivation soars. A toxic work environment, on the other hand, can stifle innovation and hinder growth. Cultivating a thriving workplace culture becomes a strategic advantage in the quest for organisational success. In the land of the rising sun, where ancient traditions intertwine with modern innovation, we find a compelling example of workplace culture's profound impact. Japan, renowned for its technological prowess, emphasizes teamwork, respect for hierarchy, and dedication to precision and excellence. The concept of Kaizen, or continuous improvement, is deeply ingrained, fostering innovation and efficiency. This dedication is reflected in the quality of products from sleek bullet trains to intricate electronic devices. The workplace is a community, a second home where individuals find purpose and camaraderie. This cultural value system contributes significantly to Japan's success. We've journeyed through the ages, witnessing the profound impact of workplace culture on civilization's past. From the early artisans to the Industrial Revolution, the very air we breathe in our workplaces has shaped not just the quality of our work, but the very fabric of our societies. But what is it, this elusive force, that can elevate a group of individuals into a thriving team? Many great thinkers have pondered this question, their insights illuminating the often hidden pathways to a thriving work environment. One such mind, Peter Drucker, known for their profound observations on human nature and the dynamics of success, eloquently stated, culture eats strategy for breakfast. These words, carefully chosen and imbued with deep understanding, urge us to consider the subtle ways in which the spirit of a workplace, its values and beliefs, can either propel it to new heights or hold it captive to mediocrity. The connection between workplace culture and employee satisfaction is undeniable. Like a delicate ecosystem, 
A harmonious work environment fosters growth, creativity and a sense of belonging. Researchers at Gallup Organization embarked on a quest to quantify this intricate relationship. Their findings, published in State of the American Workplace, revealed a compelling correlation between specific workplace elements and the overall contentment of employees. The study highlighted that companies fostering open communication, mutual respect and opportunities for growth consistently reported higher levels of employee satisfaction. This, in turn, translated into increased productivity, lower turnover rates and a more vibrant and engaged workforce. It appears the equation for a content and productive workforce begins with cultivating a thriving and supportive culture. In the heart of California, a new breed of workplace culture emerged, one that would redefine the global technological landscape. Silicon Valley, a melting pot of brilliant minds and bold ideas, became synonymous with a work culture that prized innovation above all else. These tech giants, often starting in humble garages, fostered an environment where risk-taking was encouraged, failure was seen as a learning opportunity, and collaboration was the lifeblood of their operations. Flat hierarchies, flexible work arrangements, and a shared passion for pushing technological boundaries became hallmarks of the Silicon Valley ethos. This unique blend of freedom and focus created a fertile ground for groundbreaking inventions and a relentless pursuit of progress. But the story of Silicon Valley is not without its complexities. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover both the triumphs and challenges of this influential model, revealing the delicate balance required to sustain a culture of innovation while safeguarding the well-being of its workforce. Across the savannah of the business world, certain individuals rise to prominence, much like elephants in their prime. These titans of industry, having navigated complex landscapes and overcome countless challenges, often possess a deep understanding of the delicate balance within their organisations. Just as the success of an elephant herd depends on its social cohesion and shared purpose, so too does a company's triumph rely on a thriving workplace culture. These leaders, through their words and actions, shape the very environment that determines whether their enterprises flourish or flounder. One such leader, Henry Ford, famously remarked, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. In this deceptively simple statement, he encapsulates the essence of a powerful workplace culture. It is not enough to merely assemble a talented workforce. The true challenge lies in fostering a sense of unity, purpose and collaboration that allows individuals to thrive and achieve collective greatness. Innovation, the lifeblood of progress, is not solely the product of individual brilliance. It is more often than not the offspring of a thriving and supportive environment. Like a delicate flower, innovation requires fertile ground, careful nurturing, and the right conditions to blossom. A compelling study by the prestigious Harvard Business Review delved deep into the intricate ecosystems of various companies, seeking to understand the factors that contribute to a culture of innovation. Their findings were revealing, organizations that fostered open communication, embraced risk-taking and celebrated experimentation were significantly more likely to birth groundbreaking ideas and maintain a competitive edge. These innovative hubs, much like vibrant coral reefs teeming with diverse life forms, encouraged the cross-pollination of ideas from individuals with different backgrounds, perspectives and expertise. The absence of rigid hierarchies and stifling bureaucracy allowed for the free flow of creativity enabling novel solutions to emerge from unexpected quarters. The study concluded that a culture of innovation is not a happy accident. It is a deliberate and cultivated ecosystem, carefully nurtured by leaders who understand that the next breakthrough idea could come from the most unexpected source. In the rugged landscapes of Scandinavia, where icy fjords meet towering mountains, a unique approach to work-life balance has taken root. 
Scandinavian cultures harmonize professional ambition with personal well-being. Unlike the frenetic pace elsewhere, they prioritize balance. Long hours are frowned upon, family and hobbies are encouraged. This balance boosts productivity and happiness. From the bustling factories of the Industrial Revolution to the open plan offices of the 21st century, the human instinct to work together has shaped our world. And just as the success of an ant colony relies on the collective will of its inhabitants, so too does the success of any organization depend on the shared values of its people. Motivational speakers, those modern-day bards of the business world, understand this intricate connection. They recognize that a positive and supportive workplace culture can inspire individuals to achieve extraordinary things. Their words, carefully chosen and delivered with passion, have the power to ignite a spark to foster a sense of belonging and to remind us that we are all part of something much larger than ourselves. For it is in the pursuit of a common goal united by a shared purpose that individuals can truly flourish. Across industries and continents, a silent struggle plays out in the corporate world, a battle for the hearts and minds of talented individuals. Retaining skilled employees, those vital threads in the fabric of any successful organisation, is a challenge as old as commerce itself. Research meticulously conducted and analysed has consistently demonstrated a compelling correlation. Strong workplace cultures are powerful magnets, attracting and retaining top talent. When individuals feel valued, respected and supported, they are far more likely to remain committed to their organisations, their loyalty deeply rooted in a sense of belonging. Conversely, toxic work environments, rife with negativity and uncertainty, can drive away even the most dedicated employees. Like gazelles fleeing a pursuing predator, talented individuals will inevitably seek greener pastures, leaving behind a depleted workforce and a company struggling to keep pace. Thus, cultivating a positive and nurturing workplace culture emerges not merely as a desirable objective, but as a strategic imperative for any organisation seeking to thrive in today's fiercely competitive global marketplace. In the heart of Europe, a nation renowned for its precision engineering and unwavering commitment to quality has long understood the profound impact of workplace culture. German engineering firms, those bastions of innovation and technical prowess, stand as testaments to the power of a deeply ingrained culture of excellence. From the sleek high-speed trains that crisscross the country to the meticulously crafted automobiles that are the envy of the world, German engineering is synonymous with quality, a testament to a culture that prizes meticulous attention to detail. This unwavering pursuit of perfection is not merely a matter of national pride, it is woven into the very fabric of German engineering firms. Mentorship programs deeply ingrained in the culture ensure that knowledge and experience are passed down through generations of engineers, fostering a sense of continuity and shared purpose. And so the legacy of German engineering endures, a testament to the power of a workplace culture that values precision, innovation and an unwavering commitment to delivering nothing short of the very best. Over time, humanity has developed remarkable systems of collaboration. We've built towering cities, intricate trade routes and complex technologies, all through coordinated effort. Yet the success of these endeavours often hinges on an intangible element, the shared ethos that drives them. This is what management experts like the influential Peter Drucker have come to call workplace culture. It is the invisible hand that guides individual actions toward a collective purpose. It is the silent language that speaks volumes about an organization's values, its aspirations and its very soul. Just as the natural world thrives on balance and harmony, so too do our human endeavors. A healthy workplace culture fosters trust, encourages open communication and empowers individuals to contribute their unique talents. Neglecting this delicate ecosystem can have dire consequences, leading to disengagement, conflict and ultimately hindering progress.
From the African savanna to the Amazon rainforest, every creature on Earth is subject to pressures that test its resilience. Similarly, in the modern workplace, pressures to perform, to innovate and to succeed can create an environment of immense stress. While a certain level of pressure can be a catalyst for growth, excessive or prolonged stress can have a debilitating impact on the well-being of the workforce. Recent studies have revealed a stark correlation between negative workplace cultures and a rise in mental health issues. Burnout, anxiety and depression are no longer confined to the fringes of our collective awareness. They are increasingly recognized as serious occupational hazards, impacting not only individual lives, but also the productivity and sustainability of organizations worldwide. It is a stark reminder that our pursuit of progress must be tempered with compassion and an understanding of our own human limitations. Just as a shepherd tends to their flock, so too must organizations prioritize the well-being of their most valuable asset, their people. In the heart of South Asia, a nation renowned for its ancient wisdom and vibrant culture is undergoing a remarkable transformation. India, a land of contrasts, is rapidly emerging as a global powerhouse in the realm of information technology. Fueled by a young and ambitious workforce, the Indian IT sector has become a testament to the power of human ingenuity and collaborative spirit. From Bangalore to Hyderabad, sprawling campuses hum with the energy of thousands of skilled engineers, designers and entrepreneurs, all striving towards a common goal to innovate and excel. This collective drive has not only propelled India to the forefront of the global tech industry, but has also fostered a unique and dynamic workplace culture. Characterized by a strong work ethic, a thirst for knowledge and a deep respect for tradition, the Indian IT sector offers a fascinating case study in the interplay of cultural values and economic success. The impact of workplace culture on individual well-being is profound. Just as an ecosystem thrives when its inhabitants are healthy and balanced, so too does a company when its employees feel valued and supported. Dr. Carl Jung, a renowned psychologist, once said, the meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. His words resonate deeply in the context of the workplace each interaction, each shared success and challenge, shapes the collective psyche of an organization. A positive and nurturing environment can foster creativity, collaboration, and a shared sense of purpose. Conversely, a toxic or neglectful culture can lead to stress, burnout, and a decline in both individual and collective well-being. The connection between a company's financial performance and its workplace culture may not be immediately apparent, but it is as real and tangible as the balance sheet itself. A recent study by the Harvard Business Review revealed a compelling correlation. Companies with strong positive cultures, characterized by employee engagement and trust, consistently outperformed those with weaker cultures. Their profits were demonstrably higher, their stock prices more robust, and their overall growth more sustainable. This is not mere coincidence. A healthy workplace fosters loyalty, encourages innovation, and promotes efficiency, all vital ingredients in the recipe for financial success. Investing in a positive workplace culture, it appears, is not just good for employees, it's good for business. The financial institutions of London, steeped in history and tradition, offer a fascinating case study in workplace culture. For centuries, these institutions have been built on a foundation of hierarchy, discipline and unwavering commitment to the bottom line. These values, once synonymous with stability and success, are now being challenged in the face of a rapidly changing world. The new generation of financiers, raised in a world of global interconnectedness and technological disruption, are seeking a different kind of workplace. 
They yearn for greater flexibility, a flatter organisational structure and a greater emphasis on work-life balance. How these venerable institutions adapt their cultures to meet these evolving expectations will determine their ability to attract and retain the brightest minds in the years to come. It is often said that a company's culture is a reflection of its leadership. Just as a pride of lions takes its cues from the alpha pair, a company's workforce is intrinsically shaped by the values and behaviours exhibited by those at the helm. In the bustling hives of industry, where innovation and collaboration are paramount, the CEO's vision acts as a guiding star. Their words, their actions, their very demeanour all contribute to the intricate tapestry that is workplace culture. A strong leader understands that a positive and supportive workplace is not merely a perk, but a strategic advantage. When employees feel valued, when their voices are heard, their productivity soars and their loyalty to the company deepens. It is this understanding that separates the truly great leaders from the rest. They recognise that investing in their employees' well-being is not just a moral imperative, but a sound business decision. One that yields dividends in the form of increased creativity, higher morale and ultimately a thriving enterprise. In the intricate ecosystem of business, the relationship between a company and its customers is a delicate dance. Just as a flower relies on the diligent work of bees for pollination, a company depends on the satisfaction of its customers for survival. And just as the health of a flower impacts the quality of its nectar, so too does the internal culture of a company affect the experience of its clientele. When employees feel valued and fulfilled, they are more likely to go the extra mile to radiate enthusiasm and genuine care in their interactions with customers. This positive energy, this sense of shared purpose, is palpable, infectious even. Customers can sense it in the air, in the tone of voice on the phone, in the attentiveness of the staff. It is in these subtle but significant interactions that loyalty is built and a company's reputation, for better or worse, is forged. A positive workplace culture, therefore, becomes more than just an internal matter. In the heart of France, nestled amongst rolling vineyards and sun-drenched fields, lies a world where tradition and innovation intertwine. Here, in ateliers steeped in history, the great French luxury houses weave their magic, crafting objects of desire that transcend time and trends. These are not mere businesses, they are custodians of a legacy, guardians of a savoir-faire passed down through generations. The workplace culture within these hallowed halls is one of reverence, of respect for the craft, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. From the selection of the finest materials to the meticulous attention to detail, every step in the creation process is infused with a sense of pride and artistry. Master artisans, their skills honed over decades, mentor apprentices, ensuring the continuation of their time-honoured traditions. It is this unique blend of heritage and innovation, of meticulous craftsmanship and unwavering passion that has cemented the reputation of French luxury brands as purveyors of the world's finest goods. Within their workshops, we witness the power of workplace culture not just to create products, but to preserve a heritage and to inspire generations to come. Just as a shepherd guides their flock, so too do leaders shape the culture of their workplaces. It is a delicate and nuanced task, requiring intuition, empathy and a deep understanding of the dynamics at play. A strong, positive culture can be an incredible asset, fostering collaboration, innovation and a sense of shared purpose. Conversely, a toxic or dysfunctional culture can be detrimental, leading to low morale, high turnover and ultimately hindering the organisation's success. Leadership in this context is not merely about issuing directives from on high. It's about setting the tone, embodying the desired values and creating an environment where every individual feels valued and empowered to contribute their best.
It's about nurturing a sense of belonging, a shared journey towards a common goal. And just like the natural world, where ecosystems thrive on diversity and balance, so too do successful workplaces rely on a harmonious blend of perspectives, skills and experiences. It is the leader's role to cultivate this vibrant ecosystem, ensuring that it remains resilient and adaptable in the face of inevitable change. In the intricate tapestry of a thriving workplace, employee engagement is the vital thread that binds individuals together, connecting them not just to their tasks, but to a shared purpose. It's the invisible force that fuels passion, productivity and a genuine sense of belonging. A workplace culture that prioritises employee well-being, recognises contributions and offers opportunities for growth is fertile ground for engagement to flourish. When individuals feel valued and respected, when their voices are heard and their ideas embraced, they are far more likely to invest their hearts and minds into their work. This sense of connection and commitment is not merely beneficial for the individual, it ripples outwards, impacting the entire organisation. Engaged employees are more likely to go the extra mile, to innovate, to problem-solve with enthusiasm, and to act as ambassadors for the company's values. It is within this environment of shared purpose and mutual respect that true innovation can take root and flourish. In the bustling economic powerhouse of South Korea, we encounter a unique workplace culture. The Chaebol, vast family-controlled conglomerates dominate the industrial landscape with a deeply ingrained culture of hierarchy and respect for seniority. Loyalty to the company and its leaders is paramount, counterbalanced by an emphasis on harmony and collectivism. This unique blend has contributed to South Korea's economic ascent. Throughout our exploration of workplace cultures across the globe, we've encountered a diverse array of values, practices and beliefs. But how does one navigate this intricate web of cultures to find the perfect fit? Career consultants offer invaluable insights into this very question. They understand that a fulfilling career goes beyond mere skills and qualifications. It hinges on aligning one's values with the ethos of an organisation. Just as a plant seeks fertile ground to flourish, so too do individuals seek environments that nurture their talents and aspirations. In the global market, a company's reputation is more valuable than gold. It attracts talent, fosters trust, and determines long-term survival. The surprising architect of this is workplace culture. A positive culture shapes public perception profoundly. It attracts top talent and loyal customers. Conversely, internal strife tarnishes reputation. Positive culture boosts financial performance. Leaders must prioritize ethical conduct and well-being. From the bustling streets of Sao Paulo to the sun-drenched beaches of Rio de Janeiro, a new rhythm is emerging in the Brazilian business world. These startups are agile and audacious, dancing to the beat of innovation. They embrace a flatter structure, encouraging open communication and collaboration. But it's not all sunshine and samba. The Brazilian startup ecosystem faces unique challenges. Yet these young companies remain undeterred, their resilience echoing the spirit of a nation. The Brazilian startup scene is a testament to the power of adaptability and innovation. Steve Jobs, the enigmatic visionary behind Apple, once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Jobs' words resonate deeply, particularly in the context of workplace culture. He understood that true innovation stemmed not just from brilliant minds, but from passionate hearts, ignited by a shared belief in the power of their work. It's this very passion, this sense of purpose, that forms the bedrock of a thriving workplace culture. A company's culture is not simply a set of perks or policies. It's the very air its employees breathe, the invisible force that shapes their actions and interactions. Just as a healthy ecosystem fosters growth and diversity, a positive workplace culture allows individual talents to flourish, leading to collective success. Ultimately, Jobs' message transcended the realm of technology. 
It serves as a timeless reminder that a fulfilling work life is not a luxury, but a necessity, attainable when passion and purpose align. As we've journeyed through the annals of history, from ancient philosophies to modern day startups, one constant remains, the profound impact of workplace culture. It is the invisible hand that guides success, shaping not only the bottom line, but also the well-being and fulfillment of those who contribute their talents. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we believe that a fulfilling career is not a destination, but a journey, one best navigated with a trusted guide by your side. We're here to empower you with the tools and insights to navigate the complexities of the modern workplace to unlock your potential and achieve career excellence. Take that first step towards a brighter future. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Yoga. Coaching and consulting. And let us help you chart a course toward a career that aligns with your values, ignites your passions, and empowers you to make a meaningful impact. Remember, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Steve Jobs. Let us help you find that love and build a career you truly cherish.